In the previous video, we discussed about depression and freezing point. In this one, we are going to be talking about determining the molar mass using the depression and freezing point. So, basically, uh, the determination of molar mass by using depression and freezing point is similar to that of the one where we did the map, like did the derivation for the elevation and boiling point. The only difference would be in the constant, the proportionality constant that is used. So from the previous video, we know that delta Tf, that is the dip, the change in the uh, freezing point, is equal to is or is directly proportional to molality, and delta Tf is equal to kf into m where kf is the uh, cryoscopic constant or molar depression constant or freezing point depression constant so first of all we're considering a certain mass or certain mass of solute that is wb of the non-volatile so that's the mass of non-volatile solute is dissolved in a certain amount of solvent. So WA is the mass of solvent and MB is the molar mass of non-volatile solute. Okay, so MB so WB is the mass of the non-volatile solute, WA is the mass of solvent, MB is the molar mass of non-volatile solute. So we know that molality, when I said it's almost the exact same, I meant it. So molality is moles of the solute into 1000 divided by mass of solvent in grams. Okay, so number of moles of solute that is NB can be obtained by mass by molar mass. So WB by MB. Right, so we can say M is equal to WB by MB into 1000 divided by WA because that's the mass of the solvent and we can write this as WB into 1000 divided by WA into MB. Okay, basically we are using the molality formula to get to this equation. Now we know delta TF is equal to KF into M. So delta TF is equal to KF into WB in 2000 whole divided by WA into MB. Now we will switch these two so you get MB equals to KF into WB into 1000 divided by WB, WA into delta TF. So using the depression and freezing point, you're able to calculate the value of the molar mass of the solute. So basically, it's the same derivation um, till this point. The only difference is that we're using delta TF and KF, where delta TF represents the uh, de depression and freezing point, and KF is the cryoscopic constant. In case of our elevation and boiling point, we use delta TB, which is the uh, elevation and boiling point, and Kb, which is the ebullioscopic constant. Um, with that, we're done with the determination of molar mass for the, by using the depression and freezing point. For ease, you can, as long as you understand one of them, you can just replace and you can write the other one. Okay, so there is one thing that has been given in your textbook uh, in the end of this these concepts uh, where they talked about being able to calculate the values of KB and KF. So I'm just going to give, just talk about that in brief. It's not going to be a detailed explanation. So KB and KF can be calculated from certain things called as molar enthalpy of vaporization and molar enthalpy of fusion respectively. So let's start with KB. KB is the ebullioscopic constant 
okay and um kb is the ebullioscopic constant and can be calculated from molar enthalpy of vaporization and this can be done as kb equals to m r t b square divided by 1000 into delta h vap which is the enthalpy of vaporization so here m is the molar mass of solvent and tb is the boiling point of solvent R is the universal gas constant and delta H VAP is equal to the molar enthalpy of vaporization. Of the solvent so in this equation you know what the molar mass like you know what it means you know what TB is uh, R is the gas constant we've been using that quite frequently the molar enthalpy of vaporization of a solvent is the amount of energy that it's required for us to change for it to change one mole of substance from the liquid phase to gaseous phase at a constant temperature. So it's the energy that is required for changing one mole of a substance from liquid phase to gaseous phase at a constant temperature. That is the molar enthalpy of vaporization. The next one is Kf. We use molar enthalpy of fusion. So Kf will be equal to mrtf square divided by 1000 into delta H fusion. M is the molar mass. Tb, Tf is the freezing point R is the gas constant and delta fusion, delta H fusion is the molar enthalpy of fusion of pure solvent. So molar enthalpy of fusion of the pure solvent. So basically the molar enthalpy is obviously the amount of energy that is required to change one mole of substance from liquid phase to solid phase or sorry one mole of a substance from solid phase to liquid phase at constant temperature and pressure so with that this these are just the equations which are given uh, i think you just need to know that for basic you know for you to have a basic idea they're both almost the same the only difference is we're using the delta HVAP, which is the molar enthalpy of vaporization and the boiling point for KB and we're using the freezing point and molar enthalpy of fusion for KF. With that we're done with the depression and freezing point and both the elevation and boiling point as well. And in the next video we'll be talking about osmotic pressure or osmosis as well before we start talking about osmotic pressure. <laughs>